Hi guys, um, welcome to my next Tez Talks. I am really sorry it's taken me so long to do this. I have had a lot going on. I just moved into a new home and um, I have been working and I'm growing a baby and uh, life is, is pretty crazy right now. Um, but finally I have time to do this and I am doing this for the first time from my new house. So. Today I wanted to talk to you a little bit about who is at your center? And that's a question that we have to ask ourselves a lot because often the person at your center is constantly in change. It might be yourself, it might be your partner, it might be a friend or your career and um, it's really important to recognize and understand who that person is so that you can make the necessary adjustments in order to bring yourself into the center. So this little wheel I have back here, um, I call it the, uh, the wheel of life and it's supposed to represent almost like a, a bicycle wheel. And a couple of friends of, that, uh, of mine we were talking about this idea of a bicycle wheel and how you constantly have to be that one in the center. And so this purple dot here, that represents me. And the other dots, I mean the other spokes, they represent other important things in my life. Um, for instance, uh, this one for me is, mark and you can get a piece of paper and you can write out this and you can have as many spokes as you want by the way you don't have to have six I'm sure you have 20 or 30 or even a hundred spokes um, and then down here I have my baby it's growing in my tummy and uh, another one is Career. and another one is spirituality. spirituality and then of course we have family and I'm going to call this one home which is like my friends and my home um okay so as you can see these are really important things in my life yet i am right in the center of this ensuring that each and every one of these are functioning in a really healthy way that's really super important because without me being in the center, then how do I have a good and balanced relationship with these other important aspects in my life? It's near impossible. And this is something that I've only just learned recently because I would say for the last many, many, many years of my life, uh, I was not putting myself at the center. I was always putting someone else. Um, during high school, it was my friendship group that was the most important thing and I was such a shell of my spirit and who I actually really was just to fit in to the group and I wasn't myself so I lost sight of who I was and then of course when my friendship group dissipated, I was left feeling completely empty and that's the problem with not putting yourself in the middle because if you have something else in the middle and another thing I used to do was I would put a boyfriend here. When that falls apart or goes away, leaves your life, if it disappoints you or if that person or that thing doesn't meet your expectations, all of a sudden with your center gone, what happens to the rest of these aspects in your life? Everything crumbles and falls and becomes dissipated. So it was really um, important for me to understand and recognize that the most important and healthy thing I can do for myself 
it's to shift into the center. And at the end of the day, you enter into this world on your own and you leave this world on your own. You're the only person who takes that last breath. And you know what? Everyone else has their own wheel of life. They themselves are in the center. You don't need to put anyone else in the center of your life. I mean, that's really an important thing and, and really quite saddening to think that you can waste so many years trying so hard to uphold a certain image because you think that makes somebody like you more or be a certain way or act a certain way just to get a particular job that you want or to get into a friendship group. It's really uh, such a waste of time and uh, it took me a, lo a, lo a really long time to understand that, oh, I had like a lot of years wasted because um, I was not truly sitting in the spirit of myself and who I was. And another important thing to, to note is that let's say you've managed to put yourself in the center and one of these spokes or a bunch of these spokes falls apart or ends or um, just isn't there anymore. Your wheel can still function with just one or two of these. And the opposite is not true. I mean, it's not the same. If, if your center is gone, then the whole thing falls apart. Yet if a couple of the spokes are missing, then you still can function. I mean, you may be limping a little, but your wheel is still going to be going round and around. And I think it's important to recognize that. And I, uh, yeah, I can't stress enough how important that has been in my life. It's been a pretty big change for me because um, it was not something that I was practicing at all. And now that I am practicing this, my life has become so abundant and full. And I really can't remember a day when I have not felt happy, despite having issues with some of these spokes at different times. I can still keep going because I am filled up. I have my spirit. I am intact. I am strong and it feels amazing. And I know I can have healthier relationships because of that in every aspect of my life. Everything has blossomed and grown and things are really opening up for me now. And it's been just this remarkable journey and it's actually very simple when you think about it is take some time to go inside of yourself and think, what do I want? Who do I want to be with? How do I want my life to look? I am writing my story. What do I want my story to say? And I love thinking about this as this middle part is the sun and these are the rays coming out of your sunshine. I just think that's such a beautiful thing. And you're the one making it tick. You're making it all work. And each and every one, I mean, Mark and my baby and even spirituality and career, they all have their own circle. And each of them are in the center of their circle. I mean, spirituality, that's its own thing. And... You know, my friends, they each have their own circle of life. And it's a really interesting and simple analogy is this bicycle wheel. And you should try it. Grab a bicycle wheel, rip out the center of it and see if it's going to keep going. Take out a couple of spokes and I bet you it's going to keep going. So there you go. It's really simple. I hope that makes sense. Again, I'm not a preacher. Um, I really just like to share things that work for me and I'm a huge believer in no one is greater than, no one is less than. So um, if any of this speaks to you, fantastic. And if it doesn't, that's also totally fine. And But just give it a go. Write out your circle of life. I keep changing it to the wheel of life and circle of life. Keep changing it. Um, oh, what am I talking about? 
keep working on it and keep trying to move yourself into the center. Um, I This is my like third video that I've done because I've been doing this new iPad situation. And the second to last video that I did was really cute because I had my dog Luna and she waved at you. So I'm going to see if she wants to wave at you again. One second. Luna. Say bye. Bye, everyone. Thanks for watching. <laughs> Thanks for watching. All right, guys. Bye.